My name's Sarah. I'm an occupational therapist here at Kids Matters OT. Today, I'm here to share with you our latest Chill Out Zone kit available at all of our clinics and online. Everyone needs a space to just chill out sometimes. And sometimes our kids need a little bit of extra help with this. This kit is designed to help our kids relax, recover and reorganize themselves. So today I hope to answer some of your questions about where, when, what, and how you might use this kit in your context. Where can I use this kit? You can pretty much set this kit up anywhere you'd like, whether it's at home, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's at before or after school care, whether it's at the grandparents' house, or even while you're on holidays. The really important thing to consider though about where you're setting it up is checking how stimulating the environment is. So those things are like checking the lighting. So we wanna make sure that there's some low lighting. We wanna make sure that there is low noise. So it's not part of the busyness of the space that you're setting it up. And there's low traffic. So there's not gonna be lots of people walking by if you can avoid it. So some examples of how you can achieve this is either by placing a bean bag or something comfortable in the corner of a room um, or using a pop-up tent. Uh, you may also, if you're at home, like to use the bottom of a bunk bed or even using a table and putting a sheet over it. Might be able to achieve those three important things. What can I put into the chill out zone? As I said earlier, the aim of this zone is to help our kids to relax, recover and reorganize. So when we're brainstorming strategies and tools to include in this zone, we really wanna be thinking, do they achieve those three things? Some go-to tools that are included in the kit are a soft stress ball to squish, a TheraBand to stretch, pipe cleaner to bend and fiddle with, and some respiration tools such as bubbles and a feather to blow. Some other suggestions that you can purchase separately are things like weighted blankets and weighted uh, toys, maybe some other fidget and respiration tools that you can buy from our equipment store or online. Um, and some, maybe some sensory reduction headphones or earphones, if that works for your child. Um, essential oils, that's always subject to preference though. Um, maybe some colouring in is quite a nice mindful activity to include. Um, or maybe even like a, a blanket to stroke or hide under might be helpful. Um, so all of these additional tools um, really should be purchased with the guidance of your occupational therapist or are things that you've trialed in the past with your child and you know are the right fit for them. When should I use this chill out zone? This is going to look different for each child. Really it's important for us as the adults to be detectives to help our children to identify when they start feeling overwhelmed or overstimulated. Now, this is gonna look different for each child. Some kids, when they're overwhelmed or overstimulated, this looks like they're in the blue zone. For other kids, they look like they're in the yellow or the red zone. This visual is included in the pack and really helps to visualize these um, signs and what you can do when they are in each of these zones. So when you start to see signs of this escalation, anything away from the green zone that might be frustration, irritability, avoidance, fidgety behavior. We really need to prompt our kids to come and use that space and zone um, until they are then back in that calm, happy green zone. And that's gonna be really helpful for their regulation. Now at first, our kids are really gonna need your help to identify when they need to go and use that space because a lot of our kids don't have that body awareness just yet. So the more that we repetitively uh, help them to identify when they are in those other zones and when to use the chill out zone, this is gonna help increase their regulation independence. Another approach that you might like to use, and especially in the school setting, this might be useful, um, but having key times that the kids know to go and use that space 
for example, straight after lunch or playtime, where typically this is quite a common yellow zone area where the kids are excited, there's lots of transitions, lots of kids um, moving around them, can be really overstimulating. So using the chill out space straight after lunchtime, that that's part of their routine and what they're used to, can really help with regulation in the way of getting them set up and ready to be in the green zone for learning. As I said, for each child, this is gonna look really different. So please consult your occupational therapist to help, help identify those specific signs to look out for when it is best to use this chill out zone for your child. How do I use this chill out zone? The key thing to remember here is that this zone is not designed as a reward or a punishment for your child. Remember the aim of this zone is to relax, recover and reorganize and help our kids get to that green zone to support independence in their self-regulation. When you're setting up this space in whatever context you're in, it's really important to explain um, when and how to use this space with your child when they are in the green zone themselves. Because that is where they're going to have the most attention, focus and able to learn. Try using specific examples of um, situations in the past where they may have benefited from using the chill out zone. For example, explaining a situation where they were really excited when they were playing with their friends um, but that meant that their listening ears weren't on when they were talking to mum. So instead, we can go to the chill out zone and do some feather breathing, which will help us to turn those listening ears on, for example. The other key detail that's really important when we're um, using this space is that it's not designed as a shared chill out zone. For example, siblings should have their own chill out zone, um, chill out zones in the house and same with classmates, they should have their own space as well. In the moment when you see that your child uh, would benefit from using the chill out zone, really important to use as little verbal input as you can. Um, for example, things like, I can see that you're frustrated, let's go to the chill out zone. Or you might even have a code word or sentence that you have developed with your child while they've been in the green zone that you can use. The great thing that's included in the pack is visual supports. So this helps to reduce that um, verbal input and they know that they can choose key strategies and Velcro them to their sign in their space that they know they can look at and use as soon as they're there. Um, so these visual cards can also be customizable and personalized to your child. Just speak to your occupational therapist um, if that's possible um, and that would be for additional cost as well. Thank you so much for listening. I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions. Most of this information is summarized in a handout which is included in the kit. But if you do have some other questions, please don't hesitate to call our friendly admin staff or speak to your occupational therapist. If you are interested in purchasing one of our Chill Out Zone kits, please visit us at one of our clinics at Yurongpilly, Green Slopes or Aspley, or alternatively visit our online store via our website. Thank you.